What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata, and I am back. I hope everybody is doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. I hope everyone is staying encouraged, staying faithful, just continuing to move forward in life as best as they can, and aiming for those things that you want to accomplish before you leave this earth, okay? So, um, I got a download. This download is not, um, it's, uh, you know, I just, we're going to talk about it because this is what can happen when you mess and play around with certain things. But somebody is trying to now banish a spirit that they called upon in the past to help them do magic. Okay. So that's why you got to be careful. I ain't saying, I ain't saying, I'm just saying, okay. <laughs> But, yeah, so, we're going to see what the Holy Spirit would like for us to know about this. Holy Spirit, what is the message regarding this energy that I picked up on, Holy Spirit? Who is trying to banish the Spirit? What do you want us to know from this, Holy Spirit? What type of insight and guidance would you like for us to have about this particular situation? Please and thank you. One more shot for y'all. Let's get it. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Queen of Cups. So there's a Queen of Cups who is in the Nine of Wands, okay? Because she was out here doing something in the water, looked like, okay? Calling on some type of water spirit, possibly. Mm-hmm. She did this numerous amounts of times, calling on a water spirit, this Empress energy. This is the water spirit, honey. This Empress energy right here, this woman, look, it's the same woman. Look now. And then with, with the moon on the bottom, child, look at me showing off my dang gone. Look, let me, look, y'all now. This, this Queen of Cups and the Nine of Wands right now. That's her with the same hair. Look, for continuously calling on a water spirit of some kind uh, under the moon. There she go in the water. Look, y'all, I'm telling you what I picked up on. This is a what not to do, what can happen when you do type of reading, okay? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And she may have done it up to six times called on this water spirit to do some type of magic. What was going on here? What kind of magic was this Queen of Cups trying to do? We have the King of Wands. Hmm. Maybe she was trying to do magic to secure a King of Wands. Okay, clarify that Holy Spirit. We have... The five of swords, trying to win at all costs. Three, three, three on the phone, using some type of water deity, water spirit, continuously doing this up to six times, using this, calling on this, not using, she thought she was using, she kept calling on this water deity, this water spirit that I'm picking up on to do this magic to get a king of wands so that she can win at all costs. We have the five of wands, but this has created drama in her life. This has created a lot of chaos and conflict in her life. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Queen of Swords, okay? Excuse me, Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Swords. So this has caused a lot of conflict and chaos in her life right now because someone has discovered what she's been up to. This King of, King of Wands may have discovered what this woman has done, been doing. There's evidence of it that she has been out here plotting and scheming with this Seven of Swords. There is evidence that this woman has been doing some type of water magic to 
secure this king of wands <clears throat> to win him at all costs, okay? And she's coming out as a queen of swords, because queen of swords to the seven of swords, to the knight of swords, child. The action that she took was very deceitful. It was, it was designed to cause destruction because first of all, who gave you permission to be doing that? To be calling on any water spirit. That's number one. Who gave you permission to do that? Hmm? It's given that. It's given like she stepped into a realm of spirituality that she didn't have authority or license to participate in or practice. I'm hearing 555 on the phone, which is what caused these abrupt changes in her life. Okay? Because he coming out as a king of wands. He ain't came out as her match yet. So that let me know that she did not get the man that she tried to do all this magic for, okay? She still ended up in the Three of Swords. <clears throat> but she's created some type of, I'm hearing hallucinations. We have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is falling right up underneath this Empress water energy I'm picking up on, okay? And... This um, woman, bear with me, I'm getting a lot. I didn't have to rub my eyes, child. I ain't got a lot. Okay. This, ooh. This water energy that this Queen of Cups called on, this is not the type of energy that you call on to do what she was trying to do. Okay? So she she has really disturbed something. And it's starting to come up in her life in different ways. She's having hallucinations, y'all. I heard that. She's starting to see things, possibly indication of this spirit that she called on. Um, she's not <clears throat> she's not really in touch with reality. I'm here, like her head is truly in the clouds. You know, Seven of Cups can talk about. Being in the clouds, not being in touch with reality and what's really going on. So her playing around with this water magic has fuzzled, you know, messed up her brain somehow. We have the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. I feel like she thinks somehow that she has received something from doing this magic, but she has not. We have the Eight of Wands. Look at her. She still keeps communicating and trying to do it is what I'm getting. Not realizing that a lot of the misfortune and loss that she's in is really because she keep doing this shit. Devilment. Okay, with this devil card here. She's calling on a spirit to do something that is, is of the devil. She's calling on this water spirit to do something that is of the devil. She still keep communicating. <clears throat> and now it's like, okay, so let me go get who you really been trying to get in contact with. Because I don't fuck with that. That's the vibe I'm getting. So, you know, now it's like you bringing that devilment upon yourself. We have the tower. Okay. This woman... It won't stop. It's like her brain has gotten muddled. It's something like her playing around in that to the point where she, y'all, we have death, right? Devil tower and death. Devil tower and death. Okay. That's what's been came out here back to back after she still has been communicating to this water spirit, thinking that she really getting something out of it, when in actuality, she's in the, what was that? The Three of Swords and something else crazy. What was that? I got to go back and look, child. The Five of Wands. Yeah. Mm. So I was picking up on 
that she was now trying to banish this spirit that she been calling on. And this is why. Because her ass is in the damn de devil tower and death. Experiencing all kind of loss. Misfortune. Things are falling down all around her. Because she been keep coming and trying to play with this water spirit that I'm telling you she has no license to do. I just heard my cat. cat. My cat don't even do that. He doing it now. I'm telling you. This woman shouldn't have been fucking with whatever she was fucking with. She should have moved on to calmer waters. Okay? <clears throat> After she's seen what the future would hold. Okay? With this page of pentacles. She had already been shown. Her mind was starting not to be right. And her life was in upheaval. There was no love life to be had. And this is who she did all of that for in the first place. This four of cups. This man has not been accepting any love offers from this woman, which is why I think she's still trying to communicate and do this. But it's, you know, it's causing some major problems for her. So now I'm picking up that she is trying to get rid of this thing. The sun. Her ass might have even been praying. Asking God to lift these burdens off of her that come from her messing around with this water spirit. Calling upon this water spirit for something that this water spirit don't even engage in. It's something like that here now. I don't know who she called out. I don't know what she did. I don't do that. So, you know, I don't. So, I don't know. But I'm telling you what's out here. And the energy don't lie. She's asking for forgiveness. She's asking for a rebirth. She's asking for <clears throat> this to be lifted off of her. Forgiveness is really given, you know, ask God to forgive you for your, it, your sins. Expose. That's what I'm hearing. Expose yourself. Expose what you have done wrong. And you will be, this burden will be lifted off of you. You will receive a rebirth. So she's been in this energy. Now, I'm getting that. It's falling right up under the three of swords. I feel like after whatever she last communicated and whatever, I mean, something major happened. Someone, you know, I don't, there with this, the way this energy fell, something major happened in her life that it was like, okay, I got to stop doing this. This is the, this is the reason why. My actions are the reason why I'm suffering. So I need to ask forgiveness for what I've done and hope that God will allow me to have a rebirth in my life. Because I really did this because I wanted to win this King of Cups heart. I wanted to win his affection. I wanted to win a place by his side. But this man came out as a King of Wands from the beginning. So we know that she did all of this and didn't receive what she hoped to get. The will of fortune did not go in her favor. Okay? So she's trying to change the future. She wants to fix what she's done. She wants to break, cut this alliance that she formed or attempted to form. She Look, she formed an alliance now. You know, she kept calling. So something came, but I don't feel like with the Seven of Cups, I was hearing hallucinations. Maybe she think this was this water spirit visiting her, connecting with her. But I feel like it was a, it was another spirit, okay? With this devil energy here that answered the call because what she was requesting was not of this person. Not person, excuse me, not of this energy, Okay? I don't know. I don't talk about it if I don't know about it. If I'm not picking up on it, if I don't hear it. But I'm hearing all of them three. Okay? It's all three of them going on with this reading. So, this woman is trying to free herself of, the, of some type of alliance. And this two of swords is falling right up under the devil. I'm trying to tell you who she thought she was connecting with. That's not who she was connecting with. Okay? So she wants a new start. She, 
She wants a fresh start, okay? She wants to make another choice with this lover's card here, okay? Most definitely that. Who she thought she chose, that's not who she chose. So she's trying to break the ties that bind her to that. We have the Nine of Swords. She's trying to break the ties that have binded her to whatever karmic devil energy that answered her call, answered her, received her offerings even. <clears throat> received her offerings, okay? This woman was out by the water doing something quite frequently, quite frequently putting offers 1551 into the ocean, into the sea, into the water, okay? Trying to cause transformations. <clears throat> and this particular transformation was connecting with this King of Cups, King of Wands energy here, but he ain't going, okay? That's just what it is. And now she's realizing that she ain't got herself caught up with this hangman energy. She it has sacrificed herself. And she is definitely trying to experience a rebirth. This woman may have even went to church to be born again, y'all, with this Queen of Wands energy because she definitely has been having to fight against a lot, be very resilient. This is what I'm getting from this Queen of Wands here, okay? I feel like this woman thought her intelligence and her cleverness would allow her to perform this magic effectively, but it has turned her world upside down. She has really had to have, she has really had to be resilient, okay? Because she's had to face and fight against a lot. And so... She's hoping that she can be born again, can be freed from this monkey she got on her back, okay? This is the Queen of Pentacles here. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles energy, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. We have the Five of Cups. This woman is in regret because this is where she was at before she started doing this magic. And she went from a queen of pentacles to a queen of wands. Okay. And she is in regret. She is wishing that she would have made another choice that she would not have done this. Because she can see the difference in her life, in her circumstances. This woman has taken possibly a financial loss as well. But what's happening, I mean, it's just the scales being balanced, okay? That's really what's happening. And I feel like this woman does need to go. I can't, I'm hearing, you know, I, that's what I'm hearing. That she's going to go, not need to go. She's going to go through some type of hermit mode she gonna be ghost you know we're not gonna see her for a while that's what i'm hearing because she's really going to have to recover and heal and you know really get her shit together behind playing with this energy <clears throat> mm. anything else you want us to know holy spirit anything else anything else we have the Knight of Cups. Hopefully this woman won't try to be slick and do this again. Hoping to get some positive outcome in the future. That's what I'm getting from this Knight of Cups energy. And the Knight of Cups is falling right up under the Two of Swords and the Dang on Devil card now. So hopefully she will learn her lesson that her going through this dark night of the soul is going to teach her what not to do in the future. But for some reason with this Knight of Cups, especially how and what it's falling under, it's given that she is going to try to be slick and make an offer. Okay. Ooh. 
Look, that's the page of cups. This is not a cups that flew out here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for correcting me. But that's just even more confirmation. <clears throat> this woman may try to make amends somehow with the spirit, but I feel like she just needs to leave that alone. She don't need to go back down that road no more. Because even her trying to make amends, maybe she's trying to make some type of offer with this page of cups to make amends for calling on this water spirit. But even doing that with this Knight of Cups, that's going to be seen as some type of egregious act by the universe. Like you're still trying to be slick with it somehow with this Knight of Cups. That's what I was picking up on. And, you know, God corrected me and confirmed it. I'm trying to tell you now. So hopefully if God frees her from the suffering she's been enduring, she won't try to Go back and fuck with it. Because if she do, she going to be in the Ten of Swords. Okay? And I'm going to drop the mic on that Ten of Swords. Because I am picking up something like that. And it's out here. 2112 on the phone. So, I don't know. But, I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps somebody. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. And if you know you ain't been doing nothing like this, then this shit fly right over your head, okay? But if it helped you in any way, please hit that like button, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.